Hello and welcome to Park Life, the show that makes sure you've got all the information ahead of Good Friday's match with Crawley Town. Both sides come into the match on the back of wins. Of course, Crawley Town got a 1-0 win at Yeovil Town to pull themselves further away from relegation. And of course, City got that 2-0 comprehensive win over Port Vale. Nicky Law now, right footed, easy as that. Now Woodman for Bertard. Bertard brings it down really well, shoots on the volley. Oh, oh what a goal! Goes the full time whistle. Here at St James Park, it's a deserved victory for Exeter City, a much needed victory for Exeter City. Manager Matt Taylor wants his side to get off to a fast start just as they did last week against Port Vale. Um, started well and saw the game out with relative ease. Be another tough test on Friday. Um, like you just mentioned, two games in the space of four days, but our thoughts are very much on tomorrow's game. We've got to get, get Crawley out of the way first before we can even start thinking about Stevenage. Um, we know what sort of test it will be. Expectation will be on us to make the running. Um, it won't be as easy as that, but we've got to certainly play on the front foot, give our fans something to, to cheer about and hopefully put in the performance. We caught up with Hiram Boateng to talk about that goal last weekend, as well as what he thinks of Crawley Town. No, a couple of times, I think just obviously from my mentions and stuff, like on Twitter, so it's like hard to miss it, obviously, but, but yeah, it's a bit, it's a, I think the novelty is starting to wear off a bit now for me, so. I suppose probably the season hasn't been what you want it to be personally with that injury that you picked up. I suppose scoring a goal like that, it's an even more special moment, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think I've obviously worked really hard to get myself back and get myself fit and playing again so like when you can obviously like come back and can help the team with goals or assists or whatever then it feels really good definitely more importantly it helped towards three points as well it sets you up going into this weekend a busy weekend uh yeah it's gonna it's gonna be we've got obviously two tough games coming up um when we've seen what both sides can do obviously this season last season as well so um i think we're gonna know we're gonna have to uh, bring our a game and make sure we perform perform well and are ready. Now we couldn't not include Hiram Berteng's goal right in this very spot against Port Vale. Be sure to register your vote for goal of the season by April the 24th on the Exeter City website. Ordering your ticket before the day of the match by 12pm on Thursday will ensure you also save money as well as time on queuing. Joining us this week we've got Scott who is normally behind the camera. Scott you've stepped out this afternoon. What have you made of recent form? Uh, it's been, I guess you'd say a bit hit and miss in some respects. We picked up some crucial points um, when we've really needed them. Take, for instance, Saturday's result. Um, hoping we can build on that. Now we've got a four-point gap ahead of eighth place. And you were in the press box for the Port Vale game. What did you make of that performance? Um, I was. We had some technical issues with cameras, which we won't go into now. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, it was a um, weird experience for me. It's obviously used to being, you know, wandering around the ground and the time going really fast. And it sort of went a bit slower and the match seemed to kind of go a bit slower than it would normally um, but it was interesting to see you know kind of more of the game from more of a fan perspective than I normally would be in pitch side. Um, thought we were great value for the three points, um, early goals always help and it was nice to see us on the end of a decent penalty award as well um, and then you know we could probably talk for hours about Hiram's goal and we probably will in a minute. I think. Absolutely, can you talk us through your, your role on a match day normally and how that, how that works? Um, yeah, so normally it's a combination of sort of the pre-match stuff that goes out on social media, you know, all the information people need to know about coming to the matches um, and the stuff we work on throughout the week. And then um, on a match day, me and Zandy will be sort of trying to capture the whole whole experience. So filming before the match as the players arrive, um, the warm-up and everything, trying to get some shots of the crowd so people can see themselves in it and that. And then catching the actual match from... Um, pitch side view so a bit different from the t um, camera which is up in the gantry so it just feels it's a bit more like a bit more personal and close up than what you'd see from the stands really. Two games this weekend in quick succession how do you see those two two quite tough games? Um, two again I think Troy and a few of the other players said recently that you know five four three two games to one they're all big games aren't they and um, yeah I mean recent times don't we won in the last three against them and they're quite a tough team to play um, so yeah I'd like to see us you know at, take advantage of being at home and pick up another three points that keeps us in that playoff 
berth and not have to rely on other teams dropping points really I think would be crucial and then again the Stevenage tie on Monday is going to be another tricky game they're still they've still got an outside chance you'd say of making the playoffs themselves so huge game for them as well so if you take the, that three points at Crawley and you battle to that, mm. you're then in a really good position, aren't you, going into the last three? Yeah, it'll feed confidence, won't it, for results, I think. Um, again, like I say, you don't want to be relying on everyone else, you want to deal with it yourself, don't you? So, you know, picking up the points. Players have come into form at important times, Ryan Bowman netting, and he looked a threat again on Saturday, didn't he, winning the penalty and a couple of opportunities, a very close offside call for that goal. So I think hopefully his first goal will come at St James Park and be well celebrated, really. And, Hopefully there'll be a decent crowd on um, Good Friday, it being a one o'clock kickoff. You know, people, everyone off, or majority of people off work, so why not come down and hopefully help us get three points. Of course, don't forget that 1pm kickoff on Friday as well. Another thing to mention, uh, after full time, the players and the, uh, the staff will be obviously autograph opportunities and photo opportunities. Something, it's a good thing that the club do for that, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. It's great to see so many kids and families hanging around after the games waiting to meet their favourite players. Um, the signing sheet will be available in the Grecian, I believe, Absolutely. as always, so make sure you pick up a copy of that. Um, and you can get all the players and management to sign, and yeah, don't be afraid to ask them for selfies and whatnot. They're a good bunch, aren't they? They are indeed. So thank you for joining us on this week's Park Life. Uh, be sure to come to the game on Friday, and don't forget the 1pm kickoff. See you next time. <laughs>